But let's dive right into the conversation. Starting solid. World Health Organization does say that babies can start solids anything from four to six months when they mark certain significant markers of readiness for solids. Now there is basically seven signs of readiness for solids and we are going to talk about the seven signs of readiness. So one of the first signs is that baby has doubled their birth weight. It means that baby has been able to um, process nutrients and their, their digestive tract is busy maturing and they are capable of um, doubling their work weight, birth weight and that they are actually growing and they, they're basically the way that they go on the graph is in the right direction or in the way that it is supposed to be. The second one that needs to be taken into account um, is obviously baby's age um, between four to six months. Some babies do start later. Just remember when we talk about the average or milestones it means one number one out of a thousand of not number one the middle one of a thousand kids that have been tested will be directly on that specific margin and then some kids will fall on either side um, and then you will have some outliers. The reason why babies need to be ready or over a certain age before we even start thinking about solids that includes adding things to to their food. This whole conversation is about understanding that when we talk about readiness it means that they are physiologically ready to actually handle solid foods going through their digestive digestive tract and that maturation is usually between four to six months um, and so that's our second thing the third thing is the baby doesn't have the tongue reflex now that is one of the most important things um, babies are born with a protection now they, their airways that the physiologically how their airways air and, and throat and all of that gets connected they they basically designed until the, the um, body or the, the, the digestive tract and everything is, is uh, mature enough they are basically designed that everything that goes in their mouth will go to the stomach or get pushed out by the tongue especially if it's something that is solid or something that is not a liquid and the reason for that is to protect their airways to make sure that nothing goes into their airways that is not supposed to be there and to prevent choking or things like that that is why when a grape is cut wrong or things like that and it slips down the throat it ends in the airway instead of just slipping down into the tummy because that tongue reflex either didn't work the right way and it just slipped through so that is um, one of the important things to look at so we've all I grew up in a household where we started with solids my, my parents started with solids when the tongue reflex was not away, gone yet um, and I always have this image of my younger brother where we would like put food in his mouth and then scrape the mouth clean and then put that same food back in the mouth like trying to force feed this kid and standing there with these pureed foods this runny foods trying to get food into their tummy it is not um, the way it's supposed to be because that tongue reflex is basically saying stop putting food in my mouth because I'm not sucking I'm not I, this is could be potential danger for my body it is a reflex and they can't help but doing that but it's a definite sign that your child is not ready so until that reflex is gone don't give your child solids trust your child's body to give the right indications just like you would trust your child's body to be ready to crawl and to walk and to reach certain milestones obviously after the age of seven months when that tongue reflex biologically should not be there anymore and baby doesn't want to eat or doesn't want to entertain solids then we can look at other things but food before one is just for fun it's for them to experiment with food and to experiment with textures and tastes um, so the main focus is not nutritional value necessarily especially if it's a breastfed baby um, it's not necessarily on nutritional value but more on getting that textures getting that flavors getting used to solid foods getting used to the chewing ability and all of that so if we start with period foods or if we give our kids period foods and very soft foods that doesn't expect of them to chew or to masticate or to to engage with the food in in the way that the whole mouth is really supposed to engage with the food um, then it is not really a, a good way to develop 
taste and, and those kind of things for babies. The fourth one, number four, is a baby can hold their head steady while sitting. They're not going the, the noddy. They, they're not doing the noddy anymore. They can actually keep their heads upright. Um, they're not flopsy anymore. That is a very good indicator. I know that majority of babies or the, the, the norm of babies would be able to hold their head up fairly steady at four months. Um, and but some kids don't and until that steadiness is there it is actually high risk if you add solids if you add porridge to the milk or you know anything that is not a liquid and you make it more thick you actually that nodding can actually cause choking and fluids and food to go into the lungs and actually can cause quite severe damage and your baby could end up in hospital the fifth one Fifth, number fifth is your baby is literally looking at your plate and reaching for your food now in the beginning they will reach for the food in the plate and they'll put it in their mouth and their tongue reflex will, will push it out and that's okay it's messy but it's okay it's textures it's flavors but just keep a close eye on the moment they put that food in their mouth and start chewing and that's number six all right so they open their mouth open and they start chewing they start masticating then you know your baby is really ready for for um, solids and then you can feed your baby solids and you can start introducing foods um, and then the last one your baby is healthy so there are no signs of stuffy noses or illness or anything like that um, you can delay starting with solids if when when your child starts showing signs of readiness and they feeling a bit sick or feeling a bit ill it does influence their coordination their muscle tone and things like that and then their, so, their solid intake isn't that safe so do solids when they are feeling healthy or when they are in a better space um, if you're here and you're watching hit that like button if you have any questions regarding starting solids you're welcome to ask them if you have something to share about starting to solids please comment in the comment section and we'll try to get to them as as we carry on please stay safe wash your hands wear your masks let me know what is your um, introduction to solids journey what have you heard when baby was born when you started your introduction to solids journey um, we'd love to hear from you and I'll see you guys in the next conversation. Please stay safe. Cheers.